Hey guys, it's your host, Mr. Bank Pojo, and you are watching Catfish on Demand. Do you want to know my secret cart bait recipe? Well, check this video out. It's a banger. All right, guys, are you ready to make some cart bait? We got our blender. We got our areas set up, so let's get started. First, we're gonna mix our wet ingredients. First, we put in two tablespoons of olive oil. That's your first one. Here's your second one. The one tablespoon of anise oil. Really smells strong like a strong licorice. A third of a fourth of a cup of molasses. That's our next ingredient down there. Should get all that in there. Do, 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 do. It's going, guys. Now we add one tablespoon of vanilla. See how that goes in there? Looks looks like a coffee look on there. Now the last of our wet ingredients we will add is a can of cream style sweet corn. Neo sweet corn, but that's what we're putting in. As you know, if you fish for carp, carp have a nice sweet tooth. So we're making this mixture to uh, get them going you know they get that scent going get those oils going in the water when that bait starts dissipating and then uh maybe it'll start drawing in carp might even catch a catfish if you're lucky let's see if uh we'll go ahead and get this blended down and then we'll put in the, we'll put the dry mixture together Make sure you blend it really good. You've got those corn chunks in there that's going to be in there. Alright, let's take a look at it. Alright guys, if you can see that. That almost looks, it's not thick, it's, it's, it's real runny, you can see that. It's still like water. But it almost looks like a peanut butter color. That's the consistency that you're looking for. That's the color you're looking for. So let's move on to the next step. We're going to pour this inside a metal bowl, and then we're going to start adding the dry ingredients on top. You should always add the liquids first, then the dry ingredients. That way you make sure that um, your mixture is spread more evenly throughout your uh, batch. Okay, let's get to pour this liquid down in the metal bowl. There you go. Make sure you use all the contents. Now let's get to adding the dry stuff. Okay, guys. Keep this a secret, but I'm adding a secret ingredient. It's melted peanut butter. Now I melted probably about eight tablespoons of peanut butter, but you don't have to use it all. You just want the flavor. I just want to make sure I had plenty. So that melted peanut butter, secret ingredient. Shh. Okay, guys. Next secret ingredient. Bananas. Let's get you a few in there. Let's mash up. It almost looks like everything in this is edible, huh? Next ingredient, two packages of the powdered cheese from the Kraft Macaroni box. So get you two of these boxes. Pour it in here next. All right. Spread that cheese all across the top. A 
looks like two different types of cheese, but still cheese nonetheless. Now we've got a pack of apple cinnamon instant oatmeal. Let's get that in there. Spread them oats everywhere. And next we're going to add us a quarter cup of wheat germ. And here's your wheat germ. Spread that in there. And I was going to do four cups of flour, guys, but I think I'm going to try start with two cups of flour in this mixture. And we'll start from there, and then we'll just add as we go or add water if need to, if it's too dry. So next we're going to add some uh, strawberry gelatin. All right, we poured. It, we got our strawberry gelatin in there. Now we're going to get our flour out, and we're going to put two cups of flour in there. We're going to start kneading it together, and we're going to see if we need to add more flour or if we need a little bit more liquid. If you do liquid, do a water mixture with sugar inside that water. So that way you can keep the sweetness going so you're not watering it down. But uh, make sure, yeah, if you have to add more liquid, only add sugar water. But we're going to get two cups of flour. We're going to start with that in there for now. And here's your first cup of flour. And the main reason why you're adding this flour is your flour is going to be more or less is what's binding all this together and hopefully keeping it together. So let's add that second cup of flour. There's that second cup of flour. All right, I'm going to put our gloves on and let's get them mixing this together. We've got us a wooden spoon. We're going to mix our ingredients together real quick. Get them Get it nice and mixed up together to see what kind of consistency it's going to start out with. Like I said, guys, this is why you add the liquids first. You want to make sure that that liquid soaks up all the flour mixture that you can. Now, you see there, so we did two cups to start with, and it looks like it's going to be plenty wet, so next step is add two more cups. I was going to start with four cups to begin with on this mixture, because I had a good idea it would be four cups considering how much I was actually using of the liquid. See that's still kind of pasty. We mix it up real good. You can smell the bananas and stuff in there. Now I'm gonna get two more cups of flour and dump it in here and start kneading it by hand. All right, we've got our first cup in there. Now we're dumping our second cup. Now get to mixing this up with our hands. Shibby doop doop. There we go. Need that in there really good. Starting to thicken up, definitely. I would even venture to say that you're probably going to go with two more cups. Because it's still kind of smushy. But it depends on what kind of consistency you want, guys. If you want a, a real thick, thick, thick. Going on. You remember you want to smash it up really good because you got some chunks of bananas in there. So you want to knead all that through there. Now, considering the consistency that I want, I want this to be a little bit more firm. So, I would probably venture to say that I would go with five to six cups of flour. This is how 
thick it is with just four cups of flour. So if you want it thicker than this, go ahead and add two more. Don't worry about the chunks in here, guys. Bananas, that's what you want. You can toss it out there and it starts breaking off in the water anyway. And carp start picking that little bits up. And maybe while they're picking them bits up, they'll pick up your hook. Okay, let's add one more cup of flour to this. Make sure when you're spreading that flour, don't just dump it all in the middle. Kind of spread it around because you're going to be kneading it all in. I didn't quite use the whole cup. But pretty much. All right, guys, we're going to dig in here. We're going to blend this up, and then we're going to come back when we show you what it looks like blended up in the bowl. I probably won't add any more flour other than what I you, you just see me, me do in this video at this current time. So that right there, guys, is the consistency that you're looking for. Dough consistency. Now, it ain't firmed up all the way like you want it yet, but you're going to leave it in the refrigerator 24 hours. First, you're going to pinch off a bunch of balls, roll them up in balls, leave them in the refrigerator for 24 hours, pull them out, and they're ready to go. Bank Po Joe's Secret Homemade Cart Bait. Check me out. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. And leave a comment below. Tell me what kind of cart bait you use. Tell me if you actually tried this recipe and actually caught some fish with it. So let me know. Peace.